everyone, Lisa here, aka Maggie Milo. Um, I got my Studio Calico kit in the mail for June, and uh, I still haven't finished my main kit. I have, uh, I'm working on one more layout, and I possibly can get one more out of the kit. I'm going to see how far I can get uh, with it, and um, then I'll post that. It should be probably by uh, this weekend. I should have that finished up. Um, I'm just got a big huge mess all over here uh, but we got our kit and I really like watching other people get their kit first because it's like a teaser for me um, and I know a lot of people have shown this kit before but I'd like to show it for my own reference so that way in case I ever want to go back and to see because sometimes I lose some items from my kits I can go back and say okay well this was what was in the kit so uh, if you don't want to watch that, um, just buzz on on to the next video. But uh, this is uh, just kind of a quick review of the kit. A lot of people are showing it. But anyway, that's enough of my rambling. So the Project Life kit came in this box. And I already opened it up uh, just to kind of do a little bit of um, pre-work here. And I did this video, just a first part of this video already. And uh, my son came in and... Um, kind of interrupted me, so I didn't get to finish, but I only worked, looked through a couple things in here. Uh, but the Studio Calico kits are coming now in this nice box, which is really awesome to stick on the shelf, and you could write the kit name in here, and this one is called Roundabout, I believe, so I would just mark in here Roundabout, and then June 2013 kit, or something like that and then have it sitting on my shelf. So what I'm using for my project like now, which it changed up a little bit, um, this is a silhouette file that you can buy from the silhouette store. And I think it was 99 cents or a buck 99. And it's just this little file that you cut out and you just glue it together. And um, these dividers come with the, uh, with the cut file. And then I just have them each divided by month or by type. Like I have some Studio Calico ones in here. Um, these ones are just the plain journaling cards. Like the, these ones have like the different colors on them and grid type. And then these ones are like some just 12 by 12 cut aparts from like Echo Park. Uh, this one's got like the months of it, of the kit in there. So that's what I use for the 3 by 3s, or sorry, the 3 by 4s. And then these are the 4x6s, same idea, and it, it has, again, the same file folder. So it's uh, that's how I have been storing my uh, uh, Project Life stuff for right now. Because I was storing it in little container things that I have up here, but it was just getting a little too much. And um, that's the other thing that I like about this is I have my little containers and just let me pull it in, and they get really full, really fast of all of the little embellishments. So it's kind of nice that it's all in a box, so I know this is my June kit, this is what's in it. And uh, so that's kind of nice. So let's just kind of dive right in, and again, I only looked at a few items that was in here. So we got this, and it says two of your label stickers were out of alignment in last month's kit. Oops, we will look closer next time. Um, I think it was maybe more than two, but that's just my own opinion. Uh, but they did give this little flare badge that says sorry. So I'm not sure. I might stick that into my Project Life. And this usually goes in my Project Life too. I'll stamp the date that I got this on, and then I'll just put Scrapbook Kit and Project Life Kit in. And uh, then that's that. And then it's got the June on here, so it kind of is a nice reference to um, what or what I got. So, and I, I've only got the main kit and the Project Life kit because I'm on that 50 Projects uh, Facebook group, so I can't buy anything right now other than what I get for my membership. So, so this stamp set says, let's be adventurous. And can you see that star right there? That star, I could see you being able to stamp inside of that. So that's really cool. It's kind of like almost like a star chart. And then this is a Polaroid frame. So kind of neat. I have lots of Polaroids, so, or like lots of Polaroid stamps. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And then this one is really cool. It's got lots of gold embossing on it. 
and then you can see that how how they embossed it. So it looks really really nice. I like that. And then this is a wood veneer one that says field notes. And this I was look this is where I stopped at this point in the kit. And when I was looking that at this, let me just show you. It fits a 3x4 perfectly. So you would think that's kind of not really a big deal. But I have these frames from the DIY shop. And it either is, I think it's a 2x2 two or a 2.5x2.5, the 4x6s or the 4x4s. There's no 3x4s in here. So I think, I think, don't quote me on it these ones might be exclusive or this one might be exclusive to to the studio calico kit and then uh there's this four by six as well so the not that this is a unique size but it could be the unique uh, like a different color of that uh, that style of overlay for for the studio calico kit but don't quote me on that so, and then we got these um, nice, really nice dark gray um, alphas. And I'm just going to pull in this ink. And I just had this on my desk. That's where I noticed it. This is the char or the charcoal mid-tone ink. And it matches really, really nice. So I'm really liking that. And then there's some cork letter thickers. There isn't really a lot of letters here so I it might be uh, really difficult to get a long title out of these but I like them I wish they were in a big one so that's kind of a bummer but I could I almost wonder now I know you wouldn't be able to do this but if you could be able to lift the backing like the glue backing off of them and flip them backwards so that you could use them as a stamp because they used to do like those cork stamps and I don't know if anybody else remembers seeing them but and you could use paint or whatever and they would soak up the paint and you could stamp with them so that might be interesting just a, that's just food for thought okay so we got some three by fours here and I'll just move this over to the side for a second so you can see the back side. And this has just got like a grid design on here. So hello. Awesome. Oh, and it's got a map on this side. So those ones are just grid. This one's got a map. Happy thoughts. Oh, coffee. I love coffee. I like tea, but I love coffee more. Oops. This one I really like. I like, th I love this one. Oh, I like this one too. I like that banner and it kind of looks like a sky. The good life. And then it's flipped. I like this one too. It's got the hearts on it. This one's got like a matte print on the bottom. I love that chevron. It's such a light blue. Distressed orange one. Oh, I like that. Uh, this one says thanks. Or sorry, thankful. Thankful. And then it's flipped this way as well. Uh, this one says noted. And the four. Uh, July 4th doesn't work for me. But I'll use it, obviously, for that side. I'm going to have to because July 4th is kind of, uh, we celebrate Canada Day on July 1st. So we're just a few days late, or a few days early, I guess. So note. Oh, this one's a really pretty pink. And it's actually showing up not too bad on the camera. Um, it's just a little pinkier tones in this. But I really like that. So it says make something. This one's really cool too. And that one's neat. Ooh, like this camera one. It says go on an adventure. Today is the day, June. AM, PM. And then I like this one. I like that pinky orange. 
like that. And this says is current and loving. So those are the three by fours. Okay, and then in this little box here, there's also it says roundabout, and it's got um, it says this label is sized to fit on the spine of your project life kit box for storage and super organized crafting crafting space. And then it's just cut kind of like a description of the um, project life, which I think that's interesting that they put that in here. And when I try to explain somebody what project life is, they don't understand. So you know what I might do is I actually think I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to put it in um, one of those beginning pockets of uh, my Project Life album. So that way when somebody opens the book up, it's got a description of what Project Life is. I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, there's the little label. So I'm going to stick that on the spine. And then we got these 4 by 6 cards, which are in plastic, which is... Kind of random that the 3x4s aren't in plastic, but the 4x6s are in plastic. It's just kind of weird. Okay, so then this says, and then. I thought I saw one of those Project Life ones that they were showing on the two P's. Um, the Becky Higgins one. I don't know if it was the Midnight one or the Cinnamon one. Um, it was on their video that they did their little warehouse tour of all the Project Life stuff. I thought I saw one that said, and then. So somebody maybe notify me if I'm totally out to lunch on that one. Oh, and I love this one. This is the same as that 3 by 4 one, but in a, in a bigger scale. I like that. Take a picture, it'll last longer, which is funny because we always used to say that. Uh, this one I like. And this looks like that, um, what is it, carousel? I think it's the carousel, uh, paper from, um, uh, crepe paper, okay. the pier. Sorry. And then, uh, there's the blue one too as well. And then there's just plain on the back. So that's the Project Life kit. And then I'm just going to put this all back in here so it's all super organized and then I'm going to show you the main kit and I have not opened the main kit at all so we will show that together okay so let me just kind of put everything on top here and I was super bummed because I thought that that pink, that super wide pink and yellow washi tape came in the main kit. So I was super bummed out when I found out it didn't come in the main one. It was in one of the add-ons and I couldn't get it, so I'm bummed out. Uh, but anyway, so here's some more of those uh, overlays. And these look like they're like a 3x3. Three three. Actually, I could tell you. Yeah, there are three by three. So let me just move this aside so you can kind of see what it looks like. So that's that one. Ooh, I like that one. I think I have this one. And then this one. Those are really awesome. Um, I've only used it a couple times, but I really like the effect that they give. And then I saw Sandra show these, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like them. And... Um, seeing them in real life, I like them. They're really cool. Let me just open it up. So this is like a cloud, and it's see-through. Here, I'll show you there. Oh, come on, focus. So, come on, there we go. See, there it is right there, and I know it's really hard to see, but there's a whole bunch in here, like different sizes. And then uh, raindrops and cars and stuff like that. So this is what the back side. This is should turn it the right way. This is what the back side looks like. So that you get all those um, in there. And it says how many pieces? Uh, Fifty nine pieces. And then some red and white, or sorry, red, white, and blue airmail kind of ribbon. Um, so I'll just have to use it as an airmail kind of one because I think they're trying to set you guys up for um, 
you know, the 4th of July, but again, uh, we don't do that. And oh, these are cool. I saw Sandra showing these. These are cool. They are like, yeah, like totally like game pieces, Sandra. Totally. Um, oh my God. They remind me of a game. I just can't remember what it is. The little camera and a geotag. I like those. Those are so cool. Okay. Trying to get done real quick. And they put another one of those um, cards in there. And these are neat too. These are the metal studs. And they're like uh, silver stars. Those look fun. Uh, kit was packed by Megan and then scratch out and it says bridges. So. Uh, and then here's the Project Life stamp and it says adventure number. And I, I'm having a really hard time with Studio Calico and their stamp selections because it just seems like we get really ripped off for the main kits. It would be nice to have, um, like Simon says stamp when they give you your card kit. It's like a four by six, um, stamp set and it just seems like we get ripped off and it's really frustrating. Um, because you spend a lot on these kids, and then not to get a good stamp set is really frustrating. Um, so there's all of these little transparent um, letters, which could be fun to try and use. Uh, I have a hard time with transparency items. Uh, I always feel like they feel like they're floating, and maybe that's the effect that you need to get with them, but they just feel a little weird sometimes when they're on the page. So does it say how many pieces? No, it doesn't. But those might be interesting to use. It doesn't even say what collection they're from. No, it doesn't. And then this looks really neat. And I actually saw uh, one of the two piece girls use this title and that's really cool. And it's uh, Simple Stories Urban Traveler. And I have a whole bunch of like travel pages that I could use up on that. So that's going to be most likely used up, I hope. Okay, so that's the embellishment. Just move on to the paper. Okay, so this paper is called Today, and it's all um, the months of the year. And it's like black on white. And then this pattern, it's like a plus pattern on the other side. Not sure if I'm too crazy about that. I like this border stripe down there. Oh, I love this paper. Okay, Sky Atlas. I like this paper. This by Studio Calico, and it's like matte prints and clouds. And then this back side is just a very plain um, graph design, but I like it. And it's like a brown... Like, the print is in brown on white. Uh, this one's called Optimism, and it's this green square print. And then the back side is really wildly busy. Uh, not too sure about this. But sometimes some of these prints I'm not too sure about, and I end up really, really liking, and I have, like, pretty much none of it left. So um, this one... We'll see how it works, but it's like a really, I don't know if that's black or it's navy, but it, and then another blue print on here. Oh, I like this one. This one is ILO Scrap, I-L-O-W-E, and then of course Scrap, made in Poland. So it's definitely different. It reminds me of those little... Um, spirograph things. Everybody, does anybody remember those little spirograph things? That's what that reminds me of. And then I like this pattern on the back. It looks like that Studio Calico print that I think was from the Abroad collection, just a little neater. I think the Abroad one was a little bit more sketchy. Um, this is the paper I was thinking about for uh, those 4x6 Project Life cards. And I've wanted this paper, so I'm glad it's in the kit because I... I've been really wanting it, and it's been really hard to pass it up every time I see it. But can't buy it. Okay, so this one's the pier, and it's called Carousel. That's the name of it. And this one's kind of like a really distressed orangey print. But I really like this side 
I'll try and use that as a background. Uh, this one's basic gray. And I don't know if it says the name of it. It's kind of like this film strip paper, which I don't know looking at it if I'm too crazy about, but it might be interesting to use. Oh, and it's called Cart Postal Can Canal Street. I like this side, and it's this really gray um, print on cream. And this one's Simple Stories Urban Traveler, and it's like a cut-apart sheet. Oh, come on, focus. Which I really like that. I could use that on my Vegas trip. I am so far behind on that one. This one's a really bright stripe, but it's still kind of neat. Uh, another urban traveler, this one is called Jet Set. Oh, what was this one called? This one was called Pack Your Bags. This one's Pack Your Bags. This one's called Jet Set. And I like all these arrows. And it's on like this really dark navy. Well, is it navy or is it black? Sometimes hard to tell on navy. It looks navy. But anyway, uh, all these arrow prints. And then this really cool map print on the back. I really like that. And then the paper, the cardstock, I should say, is this kind of uh, greeny blue. Sometimes the paper doesn't show very well on camera. It looks really blue on here, but it's kind of like that teal color. Then a, like a red, a white, or sorry, a cream, and then like a craft. So that's it. That's the kit. Um... Let me know what you guys think on that, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.